What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Prove It. Prove It is a company that I have been working with for almost three years, talking about exogenous ketones and educating people on what they can do for you. If you haven't watched any of my videos talking about ketones, I encourage you to click the playlist down below called My Ketone Journey, just so that way you can get an idea of why I initially started taking ketones, what my initial results were, and why I essentially just continue to keep taking them and refuse to stop taking them. It is the very first company to ever create an exogenous pure therapeutic ketone. It is the only one that is bio-identical to what our bodies produce naturally. It is the only one that is naturally fermented. And those are just some of the reasons why I personally choose to only take Prove It's exogenous ketones. So before I get into talking a little bit more about why I love exogenous ketones so much and why you should consider taking them yourself, just some different things on what exogenous ketones can do for you and how they can really change your body, how they could be an adjunct to what maybe you're doing already, but can make life a little bit easier or even better. So Prove It not only makes the Keto Now, the exogenous ketone supplements, it also has Keto Pro with protein and MCT in it. We have electrolytes, we have Signal OS, we have a special 143 MCT oil, we have creams, we have broth, we have a whole variety of things now. And it's crazy because when I first started working with this company, we only had three flavors of ketones and that was literally it. It's just crazy to see how much they've grown and how much things have changed and improved and how they always strive to make things better. We even have a reboot kit and if you've never done the reboot, the reboot is awesome and it essentially is still giving your body all the energy and vitamins and minerals and nutrients that it needs while allowing your body to get a break. So just to touch on the reboot real quick, if you don't know what the reboot is, the reboot is essentially pushing like a reset button on your metabolism for 60 hours. So with the reboot, you are getting your energy still from our keto net. We're also covering your macros, we're making sure that you're getting all your essential vitamins and minerals that you need. You're getting three essential amino acids, MCT oil, and all your proteins. That in addition to a private group that we have where certified coaches and specialists are able to help you through the process as well. So if you didn't know, you actually have more nerves in your gut than in your spinal cord. And I'm sure you know that your adrenal glands are basically the engine for your body. So this is how that all relates to the keto reboot. So let's say for example, you eat at 8 in the morning and then you don't stop eating until 8 p.m. that day. So we know that it takes four hours from your last bite of food for your entire nervous system to calm down. So if you don't stop eating until 8 o'clock at night, that means that your nervous system is essentially not getting a rest or getting a break until midnight. The average person eats 17 times a day. Now that can be a meal, a snack, chewing a piece of gum, having a piece of candy, a mint, whatever. Eating is just classified as having calories. So what that means is essentially your adrenal glands are running for basically the entire day. So whenever you're doing the reboot, you are consuming things for about a 10 hour window. But even within that window, you don't have to chew anything. You don't have to digest anything. Your adrenal glands kind of get a break because they don't have to work so hard. The adrenal gland is still getting the energy, but your liver doesn't have to sift and sort and break anything down. You don't have to go through the entire digestion process. A question I get a lot is, can you develop a tolerance or a resistance to ketones? And the answer, is no. Ketones are water soluble, so there's no way you can overdose on them. They're not stored, so your body is simply going to use what it wants and needs to use, and you will excrete the rest. Ketones can help you tremendously in several different aspects of life. And just to touch on brain health specifically, like dementia, traumatic brain injury, concussion, Alzheimer's. Whenever there's an injury to the brain, the brain's ability to make glucose is impaired. That fuel for the brain that it's trying to use, the glucose, isn't used optimally. So your body will naturally downregulate its function to demand less of that glucose, of that energy source. It can become a very vicious cycle. But what research has shown is that your brain can utilize ketones even if there has been some type of impairment. Okay, so my puppy had to go potty, so I had to take a break, and it's snowing, so she got me all wet, so I had to change. 
thing that ketones can be really helpful with is people who have chronic migraines. So migraines can be caused from something hormonal or tension or stress, something of that sort. And how ketones can be helpful in this is because ketones help to calm down the sympathetic nervous system. And ketones also increase oxygen by about 30% per molecule than glucose. So oftentimes just getting more oxygen and slowing down the breathing process is a really big help. Another thing is if you reduce your carbohydrate consumption by about 27%, studies by leading neurologists show that decreasing your carbohydrates can reduce your migraines by up to 80%. So if you're reducing your cravings, you're eating less carbs, which in return reduces the frequency of your migraines. Vitaplex has extra magnesium in it, which again helps with migraines. The keto cream. Keto cream has collagen and MCT in it, which also can help reduce migraines. We know that collagen in general helps to reduce the tension around ligaments and muscles, around our neck and bones. Ketones sometimes can make you thirsty, or which makes you want to drink more water. Whenever you're using ketones in general, you should be drinking more water. Dehydration alone can cause fatigue and migraines. Ketones can also help with things such as cholesterol. So again, ketones are water soluble, so drinking ketones will not increase your cholesterol. Whenever you are taking ketones, it helps to take the cravings away. So when you stop eating the sweets, the sugars, the processed foods, your cholesterol will naturally go down. I'm also going to tie that into blood pressure. So how ketones affect your cholesterol and blood pressure is always a huge concern, always a question that you get a lot. Studies have shown that the ketogenic diet was found to be the most effective in lowering cholesterol, lowering blood pressure, and specifically decreasing waist circumference. So why that is important is because of visceral fat. So visceral fat is the fat that surrounds your organs and increases your risk for metabolic syndrome or cardiovascular disease. Visceral fat is very important whenever you're gauging someone's health in general. And the studies have shown that the ketogenic diet, again, is also the most effective for weight loss and fat loss. ADHD. So there is some really good information that I will link below from the Charlie Foundation site. And basically research has found that brain waves in those who suffer with ADHD are similar to those who suffer with epilepsy. So we know that the ketogenic diet partially was created by neurologists to help with the seizures in children who are dealing with epilepsy. Then the drug focus came because of the issues with the ketogenic diet and people being able to sustainably follow it basically. So research is suggesting that some of the benefits of the beta-hydroxybutyrate, the ketone body that is within the proven products, are due to the impact that it has on the brain waves, as well as the calming effect that it has on the brain. Type 2 diabetes. So whenever you eat a carbohydrate or a protein, your body requires insulin. If you drink ketones, your body doesn't require any insulin. So with a diabetic, you either run out of or overuse the pancreas, so it requires medication to help control that release of insulin. Basically, every single time that you eat, you need insulin. So the more often that you eat, the more insulin that you need and that causes the medication requirements to go up. So with ketones, if your cravings are under control, we notice that you're not eating as much, which in turn will mean that you don't need as much insulin, which can also in turn mean that you don't need your medication quite as often. <music> Stones. Kidney stones is another thing that we get questions about a lot because ketogenic diets and salts, that's always a concern for people who deal with frequent kidney stones or have a history of it. So what we found is that while there might be a concern with the diet portion, there hasn't been any correlation to the NAT products. The kidney stones are often due to mineral loss, so you can take potassium in order to help prevent that loss, but whenever you have exogenous ketones, there is a certain amount of sodium that is in there to help balance out the mineral loss that you're going to lose whenever you're using exogenous ketones. The sodium doesn't necessarily add on to your RDA, but it is just there to replace what is being lost. And then there's 
also uh, a keto flu. So one negative side effect that you might notice whenever you are starting to take exogenous ketones or starting the ketogenic diet in general is the keto flu. The keto flu can happen and the reason is because ketones can act as a bit of a diuretic. So it can cause you to lose some fluids and minerals. So if you experience this, it's basically just your body showing you what you need and what you're deficient in. So some things that you can do to help with this are to take your B vitamins, electrolytes, and magnesium, and that alone should be enough to help prevent a keto flu. Not everybody goes through one. I personally have never gone through one, so I'm not really sure what to personally expect, but it does and it can happen. Another thing is people concerned about taking ketones if you don't have a gallbladder. So ketones don't contain any fat, so you don't necessarily need a gallbladder or bioenzymes to digest it. Normally, whenever you're eating healthy fats, your body uses the balls of bile because your liver actually creates those bile salts and the gallbladder is actually just the placeholder. People in general who have a higher fat diet usually don't have any gallbladder issues unless it's from processed fried foods. And then we also have electrolytes. So electrolytes are something that your body needs, but your body cannot produce naturally on its own. So think of electrolytes as like electricity for your body. Now your body gets sodium from things like tomatoes and celery, and your body gets potassium and calcium from avocados and potato skins and things like that, but your body has no way to make electrolytes. The myoplex has something called PQ2, and it's something that's able to supercharge your brain and your body and the rest of your organs. Your brain is like a major circuit breaker for the rest of your body, and it dictates the function of our 12 major organs. So when you add these electrolytes to your body, you get this amazing communication process from your brain to the rest of your organs. Mudoplex also helps to preserve your muscles, it enhances your energy, and it also increases your muscle performance. And then lastly, I just want to talk about the whoosh effect. So people who start using exogenous ketones for the purpose of weight loss, but frustratingly don't notice the weight loss necessarily right away. They're doing everything right, but they're not noticing that anything on the scale is changing. Now, one thing that I want to mention real quick is that ketones will change your body composition. They will change the shape of your body the elasticity of the body. So pay attention to that, how things feel and before and after pictures. I'd say more so than the scale, just because you're going to notice a bigger difference there. And the scale isn't what it's all about. But with the whoosh effect, think of it like oil and water. So whenever you pour oil into water, it floats to the top, right? So when your body pulls fats and toxins out of cells, your body actually wants to keep that within the fat cell. It wants to be a placeholder so that when that fat cell comes out, it puts water in there to hold on to it and it keeps that shape. So it's because your body is saying, oh, I have to keep this fat cell around. There has to be some water in there. Water is denser. It weighs more, but when the body figures out that hey this isn't just some temporary thing this is how we're actually going to be doing things now the fat cell collapses it releases that water and that's when we notice the whoosh effect and that's when you notice the scale changing last month was my husband's birthday and every single year for my husband's birthday Pruitt always sends my husband a signed birthday card from everybody and some free ketones and I noticed that I have never gotten anything from them for my birthday. So a couple weeks ago I made a post on Instagram asking them why they've been forgetting about me and my birthday. I didn't really think much of it but last week I get home and I see this huge box. So I come home to this gigantic box on my porch. I've kind of opened up this box but I really wanted to unbox it with you guys just to show you what's in side. So this is everything that they've included. Got me a birthday card. They got me this rhino necklace, which one of our mottos is always to keep charging, always keep pushing forward, always keep trying to help make our lives better. I got a prove it bracelet and then a couple headbands. And then I got this drink ketones bottle, which is super nice. 
Then I also got this huge, I don't even think I'm going to be able to fit it in the frame, but it's a huge Fruvit blanket with our big logo on it. I got a 2020 Prove It calendar, and then I even got an acupuncture mat with a little therapy routine card, which is extremely nice because if you didn't know, I'm a dental hygienist, so back and neck pain is like the story of my life. So I'm so, so incredibly excited to use this. So this is the mat, acupuncture mat, and then this is the acupuncture pillow. And I just thought that, that was extremely, extremely thoughtful. I mean, they could have easily just been like, ah, I've got your birthday, whatever, who cares? But for them to go above and beyond and out of their way and to do that much for me when I don't even think we've ever even sold any of these products just goes to show a lot about them. I mean, I could talk about ketones literally all day long about different ways that it can improve your life. And if you want me to start making some individualized videos of each certain topic, I absolutely will. I'm actually thinking of doing that anyways. But if that is something that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoy this video, if you learned something from it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so that I know that it was informative. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, especially any videos related to ketones in general, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate your time and taking a part of your busy day to share it with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.